Hello, beautiful mamas. Um, so today is week two of doing this Mama Movie Monday. Um, some confessions about motherhood. I did one last week um, with the thought of doing some more. Um, but I'm really not the best at following through um, on goals I set for myself. So it was really great that um, Jen from Mommy's Drink... Um, she set up a group for us, and um, I'm feeling a lot more motivation to carry through and to do another video. Um, quite honestly, if she hadn't hadn't set that up and um, showed me how inspired she was, um, I probably wouldn't be making another one today. But because um, because it's expected, and because I have um, agreed to do this um, with some other mamas, uh, here we are. So. What am I going to talk about today? Um, I've been thinking a lot, a lot about something that I read lately and it keeps popping up into my mind. Um, it was this post, who knows if it's real or if it was um, made simply for clickbait, but it was a post by a mom basically calling out every other mom um, because motherhood's not so hard. I mean, in... Uh, She's only only been doing it for a little over two weeks, and she's already made meals for her family. Her house is neat and tidy. She's showered every day. She is it. So she's um, kind of, uh, she's straight up judging other mums, um, saying that they're making martyrs out of themselves or that they're just plain lazy because motherhood's not really that hard. Um, but it's... It is. It is hard. And I'm sure she, if she is a real person, will figure that out eventually. And um, she's probably going to eat eat her words like I ate a lot of my own words um, when I was an imaginary mama. Um, <laughs> for instance, this morning as I, I turned on a show for my daughter to watch while she was eating breakfast, I was thinking back to how my judgment of other moms that ever let their children watch TV, tisk tisk, how could you do that? Um, reality is it's a lifesaver sometimes and, um, there's a big, a big balance that you need to find in life, um, especially with kids of caring for their needs, caring for your family's needs as a whole, caring for your needs. Um, there's so much that goes into motherhood, um, and having, having children, parenthood in general. Sorry, dads, I keep leaving you out, but I don't intend to. Um, and, uh, I think we really have to be cognizant of the fact, oh, look at me throw big words out there, um, of the fact that everybody's got their own stuff going on. So not only do we all have different, different environments, different personalities, different needs, um, different family dynamics. There's just, there's so many variables that um, you really cannot, cannot make judgment on any other person um, about their parenting choices because you're not them. You're not there. You don't know what stress factors are in their life. Um, and you don't know what they're doing to balance piece by piece. Um, sorry, I just see somebody walking up my drive. I've lost my concentration. Look at that. Um, anyways, where was I? They are going away. Um, it's a balancing act. And, um, basically we just have no right to judge another person. Um, I think in situations where we're feeling tempted to place judgment on somebody for something that they're doing, um, something a lot more effective to do, because judgment is not going to help anybody. It's not going to help yourself. It's not going to help that person for sure. Um, Instead of placing judgment on somebody, you can ask how you could help. That's going to make a difference. A difference in them, because maybe they really do need that help. Or maybe they just need the recognition of, yeah, I see what you're doing and it's tough. If you need me, I'm here. And um, sometimes that's enough and they can do it themselves, but it's nice to have that recognition. Um, and also it's good for yourself too, because... I know when I'm being Judgy McJudgerson over somebody, because we all do it, let's be honest, um, even in our own heads, um, it makes me feel like crap. It's not, it's not a good feeling. Um, whereas when we lend ourselves to other people and we try and make their lives as, as delicious as possible, um, we feel good ourselves. So there's that. 
I hope, I hope every time, or sometimes even, that when you think, think a judgy little thought's coming on, um, maybe you can step in and say something nice instead. Have a good week.